Hello, fourth grade. Welcome to General Music with Mr. Moffitt. This is your third quarter um, quarter course, and we're beginning by doing some recorder playing for our music class. The music class is split into two sections, Ms. Sandoval's class and Ms. Truesdale's class. So on the days you have lessons online um, called asynchronous lessons, where we're not live streaming over Zoom with the live video lessons, where you're just watching a video for your, your day, we'll be working on different pieces of music on the recorder. And again, if you are in Mrs. Sandoval's class, you will have these asynchronous video lessons Tuesdays and Thursdays. Monday and Wednesday, you'll be live with me on Zoom doing a lesson. If you're in Ms. Truesdale's class, you'll have these recorder asynchronous video lessons on Mondays and Wednesdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays, you'll be live with me Zooming um, in real time, working on our lesson for, for that week or for that day. But um, this is your first asynchronous lesson, and it is our first lesson on recorder, which is kind of a review of what you did with Mr. Regal as far as fingerings and then a song we're gonna, we're gonna work on, some of you already know, called Hot Cross Buns. We're going through the Karate Recorder book. So each week we'll do a song from that book and we might throw in some extra songs. Um, as far as the fingerings for Recorder, before we play Hot Cross Buns, um, which I'm gonna have on the screen so you can see, it's very, very important to have your left hand high and your right hand low. So this is my, my left hand and it's going to be up on the top, fingering the first, second, and third holes with my index finger, my middle finger, and my ring finger. All right, or we call one, two, three. On the back of the recorder is one single hole, a thumb hole, and that's where your left thumb is going to go for most of the notes we're going to do. All right, the right hand goes on the bottom, and this hand you're going to use first finger, second finger, third finger and pinky as well. Now we're not going to get into these notes in the beginning of, of the, the uh, quarter, but we're hopefully going to get to some of these later in the quarter. Okay, certainly these first songs aren't going to use them, but it's really important you have your right hand down low, your left hand up high. When you join band, when you're eligible to join band, all the woodwinds work the same way, with the right hand low, the left hand high. The flute, clarinet, the saxophone, all those woodwinds. So if you play recorder backwards and you get used to that, it's going to be really hard to play anything else and you're going to get stuck. So don't think of it as like, well, I'm right-handed. I should use my right hand high because that's my dominant hand. There's no such thing as a right-handed or a left-handed instrument. Every instrument is built so that anybody can play the instrument. You're just going to have to use your left hand sometimes where you might feel a little less comfortable doing it. It's just part of the deal. So for some of these notes today, we're going to be using our left hand for most of them. The three notes we're going to use for hot cross buns are a G, which is left hand down, one, two, three, down, thumb down, and that sounds like this. And when you're blowing, you just make sure that you have your upper lip and lower lip on this mouthpiece. You're not using your teeth, you're not biting down, you're not using any pressure, and you're not blowing really excessively hard. Just a nice casual breath out into the recorder. If you blow too hard, the note could actually chirp or squeak or, or come out too high, and we don't want to make an excessively loud sound. We want to make a nice musical sound. So that's our first note, the note G. It's also worth noting this is also a G fingering for many other woodwinds. The saxophone uses this fingering for the note G, the flute uses this fingering for G, and the clarinet uses this fingering for G when you're up really high in the clarinet. When you're down low it's not a G, but for flute and saxophone it's always a G. Our second note's going to be an A, and we just lift our ring finger up and we play first finger, second finger, thumb, and A sounds like this. You could hear it's one step higher than G. Here's a G to an A. When I go between the two, I'm using my tongue on the roof of my mouth, T, 
T. That's called articulating. I'm not just going to blow and move my fingers. I'm going to try and go two, two while I play different notes. The third note and the final note we're going to need for hot cross buns is a B. And a B is just first finger down and the thumb hole down. It sounds like this. This is also a B on the flute. It's also a B on the saxophone. And again, on clarinet in the high, high register, it's a B for clarinet as well. Okay, So we're going to try hot cross buns using these three notes. And when you're playing, you also have to take note of the rhythm. There's two kinds of notes in this. There's a half note and a quarter note. Half notes are slow. They're longer. They're hollow. They're not filled in. Quarter notes are faster. They're quicker. And they're filled in. The note head is filled in. Here's hot cross buns. One, two, three, four. So I was tapping my foot along with that about this speed. You can try going faster than that if you feel like you're really advanced. You could go a little slower if it's a little trickier for you, if it's, if it's maybe a little more difficult. But um, that speed that we just went at is I would call moderato or a moderate speed. So if we listen to that speed on what we call a metronome, which I'm getting up right now, this would be, we call 80 beats per minute, and it sounds like this. So I have my metronome app on my phone keeping track of the beat. So let's try it again with our metronome. Okay, here we go. Try playing along with the metronome and me. One, two, ready, go. Now you notice there's some quiet spots in there where we're not playing, where we're waiting. Those are called rests. The rests used in hot cross buns are half rests, so they're two beats long. They call them half rests because they're, they're, they're half a measure long. Now I want you to try it by yourself with the metronome, and I'm going to kind of conduct along, and I'm going to give you the, the note names, the letter names, as I'm conducting. So here we go. Let's give it a try. Ready? Here we go. One, two, ready, go. B, A, G, rest. B, A, G, rest. G, 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 A, 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 B, A, G, rest. Excellent. Good. Now we're going to try one more time, but we're going to do more of an advanced tempo. We're going to go at 120 beats per minute. We just did 80 beats per minute, but we're going to try a fast tempo to see how that sounds. Here's the tempo. So it moves relatively quickly, right? The, the beats 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 move quite a bit faster. Let's try that together at 100, 120 beats per minute, or BPM as we call that in music. BPM is the speed limit. It's like MPH, miles per hour, when you're driving a car, but in music it's BPM. Let's let a couple measures go by so that we're, we listen to it and then we're ready to go. Here we go. Get ready. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Okay, I hope you stayed with me. If not, that's okay. It's a really fast tempo to do that on. But it's good to challenge yourself. When you learn something, take the next step. Increase your speed. Try to make it more difficult. 
it's more fun sometimes when you really speed up and, and try to make it um, a challenge for you. Okay, so that's our challenge for this week, hot cross buns. Um, I'd like you to practice that. And during our next live um, class session, you'll have an opportunity to play it for me to earn some extra points. So you guys get graded for your quarter courses, and you'll get a grade for, for music class. And these recorder um, assignments are kind of extra for your grade to be even higher. All right? So it's, it's kind of bonus stuff, but it's, it's fun stuff, and it's, it's stuff we all should be trying to do for our music lessons regularly. Sometimes I'll do two songs. Um, but we're going to start with this one with Hot Cross Buns, which I think is pretty basic. We all should know it or be able to handle it anyways if you've done music with Mr. Regal in, in third grade. Okay, that's all for our asynchronous lesson on recorder. Um, good luck practicing this. Have a wonderful rest of the day. And remember, you're going to tune in um, twice a week at 1230 for these asynchronous lessons on days that you don't have a live class a music class with me. So for Miss, Mrs. Sandoval, that would be Tuesdays and Thursdays you're going to tune in for these asynchronous classes because Monday and Wednesday you're live with me. For Mrs. For Miss Truesdale's students, Mondays and Wednesdays you're going to tune in to these asynchronous videos because Tuesdays and Thursdays you're live in Zoom with me from 1230 to 1. Fridays there's no music at all. You guys get a break from me and you get Mrs. Doyle for SEL, second step class, as you've been doing since the last quarter, you guys were doing that. So it's the same this quarter. Fridays, there is no uh, quarter course for anybody. That's our SEL day. Okay, have a wonderful day. Best of luck practicing this, working on it. If you don't have a recorder, please get one as soon as possible. I ordered this on Amazon. I think it costs six bucks or seven bucks. You can get them at local stores usually a store that sells toys will sell recorders because it's it's a light plastic um, inexpensive instrument it's not necessarily a toy but it sometimes people classify it in that kind of category so there's a lot of places you can get them for very very cheap so hopefully you still have one from your days of